All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a QCAD video. This is going to be about using the line tool to draw uh, various types of lines. Uh, so what I'm going to do, let's get started. So over here on the left, we have this sort of line kind of button here. So if we click here, we have a lot of sub buttons, or buttons contained within this group. And we always have various methods of drawing various lines. So what we can do is we'll start off with our first line. Just click a point. Let's see, we can move this around. We can just click any other point. And I'll give us a line now. Again, once we have, once we're drawn a line, we have this little secondary line clicked. So, the left clicked, it'll draw a vertex. Do it again. We'll draw another one. And basically, if we're happy with our line, we'll just right click, and that's, that'll be about it. Second tool we can use is using the uh, line from angle. So, for example, we click on this. I can see we have some statistics over here. We have the angle is forty-five degrees, the length is twenty. And you can see that this is exactly what our um, angle from angled line looks like. So we can just change this actually to let's say thirty. And of course, it changes a little bit. If we change the length to ten, and it gets shortened a little bit. So let's click here. This is basically just a sort of horizontal line. Uh, our length got to one hundred for some odd reason, so we'll just set back to twenty. And this is our horizontal line, so we can be, sorry. So basically, uh, we can uh, draw horizontal lines. Same exact thing, right? We have, uh, so let's go back. Oops, hang on. And then this, this will give us a vertical line. That's about the same length because we set it to 20 before. We have an angle bisector a lot. Angle bisector. So basically, what we have is we can uh, choose the, the angle. For example, this particular angle. And if we choose this vertex, right, it'll draw an angle bisector between them. So if we just click there, and we have ourselves an angle bisector in the middle of this sort of uh, interesting shape that we drew earlier. And you just need an angle. It doesn't have to be any length or or any angle. You can just bisect it basically. Let's go back. Angle bisector. Now we have parallel with distance. A parallel with distance. We we can set. Uh, if we click on a. Click on a line. We can set a parallel line to it, and it will show us the distance is six here. That means we have six units between uh, these two lines. So if we change it, we can just say three. And basically, draw it in half. So again, we're going to draw a parallel line. We can draw a parallel line from a point. So we can just do, do that. We have a number point, and we can set exactly how we can just customize how far we want the parallel line to be. So we just click on let's see one unit over here. That's how we got some parallel lines. Now tangent, we, we're gonna have to draw a circle. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna have to draw a circle with radius. Draw here. Go back line. And we can draw a tangent point to a line. Basically, basically, once we have our point here, we can just click on somewhere on the circle that's going to be nearby our uh, tangent intersection. So we get tangent right there. Now we have is tangent between two circles. So for example, we're going to go back. We're going to draw another circle. Draw another circle. Wait, we're not going to do that. It's a bit too close. And there's another circle. Finally, we're going to go back, we're going to go back to the line, we draw back to tangent between two circles. Again, we have to draw roughly where our endpoint is going to be, that our particular endpoint is going to be. So again, tangent between two circles. And finally, we're going to uh, use an orthogon orthogonal tangent. So basically what we have is uh, we have a line. We're going to use a line, draw a tangent here. And it will basically just draw a tangent from some point on this line that will uh, be perpendicular. Now the other two we have here, we have uh, relative angle and ortho orthogonal. Those aren't particularly important. And then freehand line is again just sort of your um, drawing, right? It's not exactly a line, you can just paint stuff. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, so once you uh, click that, basically draws a relative angle line very similar to our parallel line, and an orthogonal. An orthogonal just draws a particular angle. You can see the length here is one. And uh, yeah, it'll basically just draw some parallel and particular lines. So uh, yeah, that's about it for um, using a line tool in QCAD. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.